Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Tech Support. Today we're going to talk about the George Knight Mug Press. The Mug Press has been around, it's a com commercial mug press, it's been around for about four decades, made by George Knight, and Condi's been selling it for about two decades. We're going to start off by talking about basic settings, then we're going to move to the intermediate settings, and then we're going to jump to an advanced setting. So if you can't do the intermediate and advanced settings, that's okay. Basic operation is simple and plain and easy to do and you can run it just using a basic operation. We're going to start off first by adjusting the pressure. So to adjust the pressure, if the gap is needing to be closed more or open more, you're going to turn to the right to actually open the gap, which this little C clamp in here will open up and turn to the left to close the gap. And you can see this dial here moving. You can also turn the dial if it's cool with your hand. Otherwise, you would want to use this Allen wrench. Again, you turn it to the right to open the gap, turn it to the left to close the gap. What you're looking for when you close it is that you hear a slight little snap and that the mug is in there tight but not too tight as it will break so you want to make sure that uh, it's medium pressure. Okay now we're ready to move on to basic setup which includes time and temperature. All right, now we're going to talk about basic setup. Basic setup is three things. It's going to be time, temperature, and pressure. In a basic setup you won't use your program button so just forget about the program button. You will use your temperature. You'll press temp one time to change the temperature. The three digits will start flashing. You use your up arrow or down arrow to adjust. We're going to go down to 350. If you hold the button for two seconds, it'll speed up. Press one time, it'll increment. That puts us at 350. We want to press temperature again to lock it there. Now let's adjust time. Time is adjusted only by using your arrow keys. So press up to increment up in time, press down to increment down in time. So down arrow, we're gonna to go to 30 seconds. Hold it for two seconds and it'll start speeding up. And that's it. Okay, so let's get started on doing the intermediate. The intermediate is a more preset operation for the mug press. There's up to 70 presets and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, now we're going to talk about user-defined user presets. We're going to use the program button. So you're going to press program. What's going to come up on the screen is set. Set basically means you have 70 presets. So 1 through 70. We're at preset 1. So we're going to do a little walkthrough on doing pre, two presets so we make sure you know how to do it. And the first thing we want to do in the set is uh, we're going to set the, the number of the preset, which is 0, 1. We're going to use 0, 1, and then we're going to press temperature to advance to the next screen. And this is asking me to set my temperature, and we're going to go up to 400 degrees. I'll hold my button for two seconds. It's going to scroll faster. Now I'm going to press temperature again to go to the next setting. Now it's asking me to set my time. My time, we're going to go up to 45 seconds. So we're at 30 now. I'm going to hold my button for two seconds. And we're at 45. Press temperature again. It takes me to the pre-press. And the pre-press is a pre-press setting for uh, two processes of, of sublimation. So a pre-press is sometimes required. So a pre-press here, we're going to leave this one at zero. And we're going to press temperature to go to the next setting. This is pressure, PRS stands for pressure, and this pressure is going to be left at 6, so if I wanted to change it, I would use my arrow keys, but we're going to leave it at 6. I'm going to press temperature to go to the next setting. And now we're back at the set, so we want to make this a preset uh, for another preset, so we're going to choose the, the digit 2. So we're going to go up, this is preset number 2, so we're going to press temperature, that's going to give me the option to change my temperature in which we're going to stay at 350. I'm going to press temperature again 
and that takes me to my timer and my timer set at 30 and we're going to go to 12. So I'm going to arrow down to 12 seconds and press temperature again. This is my pre-press time and my pre-press time is going to be 3 seconds. And I'm going to press temperature again. My pressure is going to be set at 8. And I'm going to press temperature again. And so to get out of this, once we're done, once we've completed the preset, we're ready to go back to the main menu, to the normal operation mode, and that's going to be pressing the program key. It's going to flash to pressure, and then it's going to go back to regular operation mode. And that completes programming a preset for sublimation. Now we're going to talk about the more advanced settings, which are the presets. You get to the presets in the user menu. I'm going to walk you through how to set up user menu. User menu would include things like preheat settings, also your beep tones. So let's get started on doing that. Okay, we're in the uh, user menu now. So the first thing we want to do to personalize our, our display is we're going to uh, edit the user menu. And to edit the user menu, you want to use uh, both your thumbs and press the temperature and program button simultaneously and then you're going to see Fahrenheit and Celsius start flashing. Uh, that's given us the option to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius and if I wanted to change it I would just arrow up or down one way or the other and that would change it. So we're going to keep it at Fahrenheit and to go to the next screen we're going to press program and what we see here is a counter. Uh, this is the seconds so to change that uh, from hours to seconds, you would use the, your, your up and down arrow. Some people use hours with the press and some people use seconds. We're going to keep it at seconds. So we're going to go to the next preset and we're going to press program to advance. This is a, a, re a record. A record is basically a recording of how many presses that you have done with this particular press. You can zero out this, uh, uh, this counter by pressing your up and down arrow keys simultaneously and it'll zero it out. But it lets you know how many presses you've made with the press, which is a great feature. Now we're going to go to the next screen. This is uh, programming uh, your min and max for pressure. So to do that, you're basically, um, it's a more advanced setting. We'll talk about that here in a little bit when we talk about pressure. So I'm going to go to the next screen. This is the max pressure. We'll talk about how to calibrate the max. We're going to go to the next screen. All right, this is drop. Drop is basically when your temperature drops beyond a certain uh, degree. Say, for instance, you have a window of 10 degrees up to 40 or 50 degrees. So to change your drop, which I leave mine off because temperature will drop when you first press something, it's going to drop basically because you have a cold item between the platinums. So um, to change that, you would just increment up by tens. So as you can see, it goes up by tens. I leave mine off because I just watch the screen and I can tell if it's dropping or not. So we're going to go to program to go to the next screen. And this is beep, which is the sound you're hearing every time I press something. The beep is on, which I like to leave it on. So it lets me know that something's happening. So um, to turn it off you would just arrow down. I'm leaving mine on. And to set the beep we go to the next mode. This is our alarm. And our alarm sound, which is our beep sound, has 10 programmable settings. And uh, your user manual will more define what those settings are. But each one has a different sound. So if I want to change the sound of my beep as you can see it I use my up and down arrows till I find one that's right for me okay and then we press program to go to the next setting this is the finish warning beep and basically it gives you it allows you a warning beep just before your press time is up you can set it usually for about three seconds uh, is what it's programmed to so to go to the next screen we press program and this is your pre-press timer. And your pre-press timer um, should be on or off. If it's on, 
Basically, it allows you a pre-press time for uh, two-step processes for things like textiles and for whatever purposes that you would use your pre-press for. And I've got it on right now, so I'm going to press program to go to the next screen. And this is the alarm for my pre-press. And my alarm uh, is set to five, which for me, I like a different sound of, of a, I like my alarm to be a different sounding uh, because I need to be able to distinguish what's pre-press and what's my timer. So I have it set for five, but if you want to change it, you use your up and down arrow keys. Press program to go to the next screen, and this is my pre-press timer. And it's set for three seconds. So to do a pre-press uh, or change a pre-press time, you can up it to something like, we'll just up it to 10. And press program to go to the next screen. And now we're back at the set, which we're done here. We want to hit program again, and that's our pressure. And our, we're back at the normal operation. I hope this video has helped you with setting up and operating your mug press. If you have any questions on how to do any of these things that we've went over, you can contact us here at Condi Systems, 1-800-826-6332 or go to our webpage and view our Condi TV site for more videos about how to operate our presses. Again, my name is Vicki, I'm with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I would like to thank you for your time.